Hey, what's up, guys? Um, just want to welcome you to the, uh, the new format. Um, you might notice recording in 2K. Uh, so, you know, just wanted to check in. Uh, so this is uh, Mega33 from Casual, uh, C-A-S-L. Um, and so I'm going to be running some ops this morning. Uh, just, you know, nothing crazy, nothing formal. Just uh, going to head over here to Esamir. Probably run some Cordium. Do a couple of other things. But thanks for stopping in. So <clears throat> I think the um, the directives or the mission system is pretty good. It's a good way to earn some XP. Uh, for those of you that are trying to build up your XP, level up your characters, um, just like I just did there, you know, swing by those little terminals, uh, grab a mission, and, uh, and do it. You get some pretty decent uh, XP out of it. <clears throat> I like to run routers. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take this cordium that I'm running, um, and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll satisfy the directive, which basically says deploy it in a contested region. But what I'll try to do is I'll try to build a, um, router base, uh, somewhere kind of on the edge of the map. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, uh, once I get, you know, to that point, but, um, you want to try to hide your router base as best as possible. Um, so, so usually what I'll do is here, and I'll just pull up the map real quick. So I look at the front that I, you know, I look at the map. Like right now, NC's not doing so great. There's a lot of VS uh, territory control. Um, so what I may do, uh, at least the NC's doing better than TR. But uh, what I may do is I may try to drop a... Um, a routing base somewhere kind of over here where this waypoint is that I just deployed uh, so that I have a jumping off point for attacking this kind of southern lane of the VS. Uh, this fight doesn't look so great. Um, kind of two to one over pop right now. But let me head over in that direction and we'll see what we got. Some game sounds. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, which I'm going to assume most of you are because this is going to be the first video I put out, uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I run with the uh, casual army. Um, many of you may be familiar with them, um, but you know, uh, there'll be plenty of gameplay with those guys. Uh, I'll also be linking to some of the other channels from other members of the, uh, of the outfit. <clears throat> so um, if you're interested in more of that con uh, content, you know, like, subscribe, uh, hit that thumbs up. Um, you know, you, you know the drill. But right now I'm just kind of making my way over this way, uh, try to find um, a place to set up this base. But I did see this big lump accordium over here, which I'm kind of interested in. So I'm going to swing through there first and uh, see if I can at least fill up my tank before I head on further. So I'm not going to take the big chunk of cordium first. I'm going to take some of these little ones because uh, I can fill them up in one pass with this Howler mining laser. Uh, 
it's I just gotta wait. The thing about the the difference between the howler and the traditional laser is the howler mines faster, but it's got an overheat mechanic. Um, which, you know, I mean, I, I don't mind so much. I guess you know somebody's done some research and figured out that it's actually faster um, than the uh, than the regular mining laser. Um, I'm actually gonna buy. Party of silo right now. I'm just gonna keep it in my inventory, and I'll show you why I did that here in a minute. But um, that way I can top up my cordium because uh, the, the the silo costs 2,000 cordium, and so what I can do is I can top up my cordium, and uh, you know, and then I don't have to worry so much about um, you know their their being. Actually, this is this is actually a pretty good area to build. Um, let me. It's not contested, so let me move back over to where I was. Let me take a look here. So if I, I kind of go right there. Um, I gotta I gotta deploy in in the in a contested region to satisfy this. You know, as you can see by the directive. <clears throat> But I think what I can do is I can kind of get right on the edge of this. Um, right on the edge of this VS territory. Uh, deploy my silo. And fill it without, you know, without anybody really kind of noticing. I gotta find a good spot for it, so let me... This will provide a pretty good staging point. Let me see where I am. Okay, all right, I gotta keep going. Okay, I'm clearly in BS territory now, but I'm in a no deploy zone, so... I'm gonna look for, okay, I got some, got some friends over there. Let's see. Okay, it looks like there's uh there's nowhere I'm gonna be able to deploy this without so I do see that node over there and what I can do is I can use my transport cloak like I am right now. Sneak in behind these guys. Make my way over to that silo. Hopefully not getting anybody's attention. You know, I still have plenty of cordium left. Um, that way I can refill that silo over there. And, uh, Let me just top up here real quick. Cause I, the the cloak um, eats at your accordion. So mine's pretty much max level, but um, what happens is it eats it up pretty fast. So uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna top up my accordion so I have a full 10K. Um, and then when I go fill up that silo, uh, it will Getting uh, the attention. Of, oh, I see some folks over there. Let's just uh, avoid some of that nonsense. Um, that way, I don't have to make multiple trips. I'm just gonna loop around here, and uh, and I'll go to that base and fill that silo. I don't know if it's a base yet, but at minimum, it's a silo. So, you just head over there. That way, I can. Uh, satisfy the directive and then I can find a good spot to build my own base um, routing bases don't need a lot of cordium you know uh, if you're just running routers out of them but yeah this this silo is, is basically just abandoned here oh my God. so let me just fill this up 
That way I get my directive, my mission rewards, and then uh, I can move on to something else. Uh, filling the silos goes a lot faster than uh, than mining. Mining takes a while um, for that to uh, to take effect. But and there we go. So if I hit I overview I can claim this reward and that's an easy 4,000 XP so now let's, uh, let's try to sneak across here let's try to sneak across here back over to that uh, cordium farm grab some of this cordium and then go drop my base somewhere These 2,000 spires, you can hit them in one pass, um, one one cooldown period. So they're actually pretty convenient. Uh, with the other ones, it takes a couple of cooldowns to run through. I got this. Let me just do this. That didn't exactly work out as planned. <laughs> so, probably shouldn't have shot at that guy. Probably should have just uh, kept, uh, you know, kept doing what I was doing and maybe he wouldn't even have noticed me. But, uh, I guess, what do, we, what do we wanna do? Let's see. Um, yeah, I should go on the defensive at Eli. Yeah, it's about a 50-50 fight. Yeah, let me see. Check my loadout here. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll I'll go help defend Eli Tower. Let's see what we got here. Toss those guys some rounds. How come these turrets aren't? Oh, there we go. I definitely want to get some air deterrence going here. Well, apparently that site didn't like my plan at all. So, so we will try that again. Uh, actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll join my friend there in the max. Um, actually, hold on. Back, you back to the mat talk. And yeah, there we go. We'll take our burster load out. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And we'll take. Uh, there we go. Alright, here we go. This, this should make for some fun here. Air deterrence. Let's see what we got. a whole lot of air anymore. So, this guy up here, he's just kind of hanging out. Maybe I need to switch up. Let me switch my load up. Load out up. Let's get my tox back. Nice thing about the mad toxes is that uh, you know they'll still do some damage to air targets, but they're, they're pretty good, uh, you know, for uh, ground. Let's see if I can get in here and do something about this. Take this A point back.
see if I get rezzed. Just doing some work there for a second. But then, uh, you know, apologize to that VCO guy who happened to jump in front of me. Sure that well, here we go. Here's a res. It's good stuff. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Come on. And I will accept that. Thank you. Definitely did some business there, that's pretty good. Didn't need to catch that grenade. Pocket NG, that's helpful. bounties on me that time. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Do we have any chance of a res? Uh, it's unlikely. Uh, let me get back on the tower. have a you know what let me um, let me grab a brown pound reaver see if I can the best pilot as you probably just noticed 
Um, but, you know, gotta, gotta get the practice in. It wasn't exactly as intended. Uh, let me, look, I'm gonna help this guy out. Sometimes, you know, it's the, the unsung work of, you know, being a, uh, like following your class and doing what you're supposed to do, whether it's as a medic healing or as an engineer repairing, it makes all the difference. You know, I, I don't think people realize that, um, you know, how important that really is uh, in, the, in the grand scheme of things. And, and, I mean, it's a side benefit. You get points for it. it ultimately translates into... Uh, you know, translates into... into certs. So, you know, do what you're supposed to do. It makes a big difference. I'm well out of range for this weapon, for that guy, but... going to stick a repnade on this guy. Nope, oh, maybe not. Stop running around, dude. Let me repair this thing real quick. Somebody can hop in and do some work. Seeing a lot of air. There you go, dude. I got plenty for everyone. I saw an enemy in my glider on the switch and I threw a bonus chair. I think I'm gonna head downstairs.
punch out a kamikaze there for a second. <laughs> Again, didn't didn't work out so great. 